Hi, my name is Gracie, and this is going to be a short video explaining how to create a calculated field and how to change field names on Tableau. The data I will be using today is employee data derived for the purposes of creating instructional videos such as the one you are watching. As you can see, this data includes a variety of information about employees that is categorized as numerical, string, date, and geographic in Tableau. At this point, we have our data imported, and in this video, we are looking at employee data that has been collected for how they answered the Q12 questions from the Gallup research studies. So to begin, I will start by explaining how to create a calculated field in Tableau. And for reference, I'm using a MacBook Pro. So the first step in creating a calculated field in Tableau is you want to select your desired sheet. Here, I've chosen to choose sheet one. From here, you will have your data drop down where all of your tables are listed below. I want to create a calculated field for employee data and measure values. Here, I will hover over employee data and then find the drop down white arrow, which I will click. As you see your options, you will find create. Once again, hover your mouse over the create and you will find another arrow that'll take you to calculated field. From here, you will see the calculation box. I want to delete calculation and put employee data plus measure values. Finally, press OK. Now you'll see I have employee data and measure values. Tableau allows you to create new fields in your workplace if your underlying data source don't have them. These new fields are termed Tableau created fields and they can be used to examine data, experiment with ratios, create data comparisons and discover new possibilities. Calculated fields allow you to create new data from data that already exists, such as I did in this example in your data source. So when you create this calculated field, you are essentially creating a new field or column in your data source. The values or members of which are determined by calculation that you control. Next, we will be changing the field names. So I've chosen to change profit ratio. I will click profit ratio. And from here, I will go down to the right drop down white arrow once again, and go up to rename. From here, you will see that profit ratio is slightly shaded in gray. So that's when I know I've correctly renamed or gotten to the point to rename the field name. Here, I will pre press delete, or you can instantly start typing your new, new, new name. I would like to change it to profit ratio. Gosh employee data. Here I have successfully changed the field name. The benefits of changing the data field names in the data source page is that you can see a preview of the data. Thank you for watching my short video about a couple to know basics in Tableau. Good luck.